The United States stands as a global energy giant proudly holding the title of the world's largest oil producer. Yet, a curious paradox emerges. Despite this impressive production capacity, the U.S. still relies on imports. How can this be? This energy puzzle might seem counterintuitive. The answer lies in the complexities of geopolitics and economics. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be an enlightening ride. To grasp the U.S. energy situation, we need to look at the numbers. Every day, the U.S. extracts an impressive 21 million barrels of oil from its reserves. That's enough to fill a staggering number of tanker trucks stretching for miles. However, the sheer scale of the U.S. economy demands an even greater amount of energy. On the consumption side, the U.S. devours around 20 million barrels of oil daily. This insatiable appetite for energy, driven by industries, transportation, and daily life outpaces domestic production. While the U.S. produces a significant amount of oil, it's not enough to satisfy its enormous energy needs. Think of it like this. Imagine a bathtub with a faucet and a drain. The faucet represents U.S. oil production pouring in millions of barrels. The drain represents consumption, constantly drawing oil out. Even though the faucet is flowing at full blast, the bathtub can't quite fill up because the drain is open wide. This gap between production and consumption is the crux of the matter. It's why the U.S., despite its impressive output, still finds itself relying on imported oil. Not all oil is created equal. Just like different grapes produce wines with distinct flavors, crude oil comes in various grades, each with its unique properties. Understanding these differences is key to unraveling the U.S. oil import puzzle. U.S. oil production primarily consists of light, sweet crude. This type of oil is relatively easy to refine into gasoline and other fuels. It's like the Pinot Noir of the oil world, smooth, accessible, and highly sought after. On the other hand, much of the oil produced by OPEC countries, particularly in the Middle East, is heavier and more sulfurous. This type of crude requires more complex and costly refining processes to transform it into usable fuels. It's akin to a Cabernet Sauvignon, bolder, more robust, and demanding more attention. U.S. refineries have historically been designed and optimized to process heavier crude oil. It's like having a kitchen equipped with specialized tools for hearty stews, but not ideal for delicate souffles. This mismatch between the type of oil the U.S. produces and the type its refineries are best suited for plays a significant role in the import equation. Oil refineries are the industrial behemoths responsible for transforming raw crude oil into the fuels that power our world. These complex facilities are marvels of engineering but they are not all created equal. Just like a bakery specializing in sourdough bread might struggle to churn out croissants, oil refineries are designed to process specific types of crude oil. Many U.S. refineries, particularly those along the Gulf Coast, were built decades ago when heavier crude oil was the norm. These refineries are equipped with specialized units and processes tailored to handle the challenges of heavier, more sulfurous crude. They excel at breaking down complex hydrocarbon molecules and removing impurities, producing a range of fuels from gasoline to diesel to jet fuel. However, the surge in U.S. oil production in recent years has predominantly been in lighter, sweeter crude. While this type of oil is easier to refine, it doesn't align perfectly with the configurations of many existing U.S. refineries. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It's not impossible, but it requires adjustments and compromises. The Global Dance of Oil Exports and Imports The U.S. plays a dual role both as a major exporter and importer. This reflects the complex interplay between crude oil types, refinery capabilities, and market dynamics. The U.S. exports significant quantities of light, sweet crude. Simultaneously, it imports heavier crude oil from countries like Canada and Saudi Arabia. This global dance is driven by economic efficiency and market forces. Upgrading Refineries A Costly Proposition one potential solution to the U.S. oil import puzzle might seem straightforward. Why not simply upgrade existing refineries to handle the influx of lighter, sweeter crude? While this is technically feasible, it comes with a hefty price tag and a host of logistical challenges. Upgrading refineries to process a different type of crude oil is no small feat. It requires significant capital investment, extensive engineering work, and potential downtime as units are modified or replaced. It's akin to transforming a car factory to produce electric vehicles, a complex and costly undertaking. Moreover, the economics of refinery upgrades are complex and depend on a multitude of factors including the projected price differential between light and heavy crude oil, the availability of skilled labor, and regulatory considerations. 
refineries or businesses, and any decision to invest in upgrades must make financial sense. While some refineries have undertaken partial upgrades to increase their flexibility, a wholesale shift to processing lighter crude is unlikely in the near term. The costs are substantial, and the payback period can be lengthy. A Century of Dependence Historical Context Understanding the U.S.'s current energy situation requires peering back through the lens of history. The nation's reliance on foreign oil is not a recent phenomenon, but rather a story woven over the past century, shaped by wars, economic booms, and geopolitical shifts. World War I marked a turning point, as the U.S. military's insatiable demand for oil exposed the limitations of domestic production. The conflict ignited a global scramble for energy resources, and the U.S., despite its own reserves, found itself increasingly reliant on foreign sources. This dependence deepened during the post-World War II economic boom, as Americans embraced a car-centric lifestyle and industries hummed with energy-intensive processes. The thirst for oil seemed unquenchable, outpacing domestic production and solidifying the need for imports. The oil crises of the 1970s, triggered by geopolitical turmoil in the Middle East, served as stark reminders of the vulnerability that came with relying on foreign oil. The U.S. found itself at the mercy of events far beyond its borders, facing economic disruption and political pressure. Energy independence? A distant dream? The pursuit of energy independence has been a recurring theme in U.S. political discourse. The idea of severing reliance on foreign oil holds undeniable appeal, promising greater national security, economic stability, and perhaps even a stronger geopolitical hand. However, achieving complete energy independence in the near future remains an elusive goal. The U.S. economy's vast appetite for energy, coupled with the complexities of the global oil market and the logistical challenges of refining, presents formidable obstacles. While the U.S. has made significant strides in boosting domestic oil production, particularly through advancements in hydraulic fracturing and horizontal drilling, it's unlikely to wean itself off imports entirely anytime soon. The global nature of the oil market, refinery configurations, and economic realities all play a role. Instead of chasing the mirage of complete energy independence, a more pragmatic approach might involve diversifying energy sources, investing in renewable technologies, and promoting energy efficiency. By embracing a multi-pronged strategy, the U.S. can reduce its reliance on foreign oil while also addressing the pressing challenge of climate change.